Nothing like SAO other than a bunch of creepy dude doing creepy things, man. That's one of the things that like I like, despise SAO about. Like, why do you need just such acts of horrific, just like sexual assault? Just cause what? It makes them just good villains to have? No. For sure you can elicit this, this just such strong emotions by having like antagonists like that but i think that's such a cheap fucking way to do it if you need to rely on creepy rapey dudes to make some antagonists to make your audience be like i don't know emotionally get charged i think that's such a fucking lazy cop-out way to do it anyways sexual art sexual assault online classic but hey the actual stuff that was going on regarding Yu-Gi-Oh's eyes that was pretty interesting and how Ryos couldn't even figure out what's going on he like short-circuited because he just could not break the taboo right I'm not really sure exactly what's going on there, but Alice showed up at the very end too. And then, Alice is like Synthesis 30. Meaning, this is like the 30th clone or some shit? What do they always do with people that break the Taboo Index? They bring them in, right? And when they bring them in, do you think that they just let Alice be? Or do you think that they like make clones off of them so they can create like you know, soldiers. That's what Kikoko's plans are. Anyways, things are getting very interesting. Alice the 30th is here. Let's begin today's reaction. What is... Huh? It is, but it isn't. Get your hand off me, criminal! Oh. <laughs> criminal scum! You dare lay your hand on me? I am your fucking escort right now. Get out of here! ゲンジたちの天命を that's exactly what the Integrity Knight said before in episode 1. But Alice is still alive. But this is probably not the actual real Alice we know. Kikuka wants to take these potential candidates who's capable of killing or breaking the taboo index and clone them and make soldiers out of them. This is the 30th synthesis clone then? What's going on? Central Cathedral! This is our Ruby Palace, man. That's a huge title. Let's go. I'm gonna get dragged like this too again. Who is this? Oh! <laughs> Their object threshold level is so fucking low. They can barely drag the swords, bro. Let them have their swords. I shall confiscate the swords. The sword that she has, is that Excalibur? It's like a golden sword. I don't know. I'm just defaulting Excalibur because this is gold. One minute. You just said bye. You must become free of this and beat the fucking uh, the battle tournament and then the four empire unification tournament and then rise the level of marquee and then suddenly you can fucking become a noble that can marry me and save me from my fucking arranged marriage. Nah. It was Yuji's decision to break the taboo index. Really? <laughs> really? Is she gonna save us? Can we really rely on Tise to get stronger to save us? I mean, the thought, it's the thought that counts. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Roni. <laughs> I hope that doesn't fall off when we fucking... <laughs> you get dragged by the fucking dragon across the sky, like... <laughs> Actually, part of me hopes that this shit falls off, it'd be hilarious. Alright, here we go! 
Something about them just getting dragged like that through the dragon is so funny. It's not the same level of funny, though. Because, like, they're grown men. They're young adults. When Alice, like a baby girl, bro, was getting dragged, that shit was actually so funny. This gigantic knight shows up, puts the fucking six-year-old girl in chains. <laughs> then the dad put her in chains, and then she gets dragged with a dragon. That shit was so unnecessarily funny. <laughs> Unintentionally funny. Bye-bye, our co -highs. Never see you again. I mean, the tower is right over here. If anything, this is the fastest way we should have, you know, gotten to, you know, Alice. But here we go. Asna still not linking. Link start. Yo, I want Asna to go in. I know you got a separate fucking machine right here, pussies. Fuck you. That's another machine right over here, right beside Kirito. Bro, just hook her up. Let her go in. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's a free controller right beside Kirito, and then she's not allowed to play. Who's coming down the stairs right now? It's a robot. Ah. Uh. <laughs> she said, "Excuse me," to a robot. <laughs> what does this say? Lemon on the back. Yeah. Oh, it's coming back. It's walking backwards. What if it said mama? What if it's Yui, bro? We haven't seen Yui in a while. You know, remember the fucking uh, webcam Yui before? Ichiemon, not lemon. Ichiemon. And I'm gonna assume that Ichemon is basically the most prototype draft of robotic vessels that has yet to be implanted with the, you know, the AI, right? That's able to kill. So Kikoka wants to mass produce these type of robots and implant the fucking soul, use the soul flux like translator, implant that shit into these robots, then he has an army of people that can kill. リンコさん。はよ、アスナさん。やっぱりボトルネックはバランサーの処理速度ね。バランサー。ザ・バランス。ちょっと早い。あと、あと、あと、あと、あと、あと、あと、あと、あと、あと、あと、あと、あと、あ
What? You might... You seen him before? You seen him before? Why, why, why? So what was that? One of the dudes... It was the second guy, I think, with the rat tail at the end. And he's got thick calves. He looks at the calves and Asuna's like, damn, this dude doesn't skip leg day. Asuna remembers this guy from somewhere. Wrath members. Did we see his face clearly? Is he from fucking, I don't know, uh, you know the movie, Ordinal Scale? No, 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 that dude's way older. I don't know, but Asuna somehow reminds herself of this character right over here. I don't know where he's from, but okay. Hmm. Alright, back into Central Cathedral. Oh, we're locked up together, though. Not in that way. I'm like, yo, Yuji is becoming sentient. As in, like, he just realized that he's living in a simulation. No, no, no. He's saying all the events that's happened so far just feels like a dream because there's so many crazy shits happened, right? Yeah, when he bugged out. Prison break? What are we gonna do? Yeah, fuck it. Like, we've already, you know, we already broke the taboo index. Let's just, like, what's gonna happen now? Just keep breaking this shit and just somehow figure out what's going on with Alex. Yeah. She must have been, and they said they'd execute her. But now this is Alice 30 synthesis. It looks like her. But the personality is not the same at all. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's forbidden. It's like, again, it just feels like they're cloned her, and this is like the 30th clone or something. Or maybe she really is faking it, man. She's fucking faking it, and she's trying to do this for Yuji saying. And the 30th synthesis simply means that she's the 30th person that was able to break the taboo index and got recruited in. I think it's more likely that it's like a clone or either that or they wash their memories. Manipulate life. Yeah, I can believe that. Vision. That's right, I'll be waiting for you. That was Alice. Top of Cathedral. Ruby Palace! That's right, that's right. And like, maybe that same voice is the same person that taught Kirito how to use... Somehow he was able to use sacred arts that he couldn't through the flower resurrection, remember? Was that the same voice? Oh. Oh. But both of them has their arts. The third, you know, this is gone now. Meaning in this tower, you can no longer use sacred arts. Right. この鎖を切るにはおお、まだだ。あ、オッケー。ジョージ、ジョージ、ウィキンファインディス。アイトゥアイトゥアイトゥアイトゥアイトゥアイトゥアイトゥアイトゥアイトゥアイトゥアイト
quiet. Not only that, not just the voice, the fucking sound effect of the chain. That's the thing that's the loud part. Are you kidding me? Not the fucking voice. Bald. You can even use that as a weapon now. Jailbreak. <laughs> Listen, we already broke the fucking taboo index. We're supposed to get executed. Who cares at this point? Just go all out now. Just hit it. With the chain. Damn, it's that easy, huh? The worst guards ever. Like, actually, the worst guards fucking ever, dude. We just had an entire monologue after making that much fucking noise, and nobody still cares. Yeah, they're sleeping, I guess. Bald. How do we climb this tower, though? We gotta go from within. And we need to go retrieve our swords back from Alice as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah? They're precious roses. The roses are such important things in this world. I don't know why they're putting so much emphasis on something so common as roses, but maybe in this world it's crazy. If we become integrity knights, we might have ended up like Alice. Alice did not become an integrity knight like that though. Alice got captured and then she got brainwashed and now she's like that. You guys got captured because you broke the tab windows, you'd be like that too. But maybe if you also, you know, pursue the path of integrity knights by doing it legally, you also get brainwashed. I don't fucking know. If that's true. Who do they think they are? They're playing God in this world. These monkeys, that's all part of the simulations, have... Uh, unless Kikoka and like their team is directly controlling the Axiom Church like that. Which I could definitely see. Why not? Us as humans. Yeah, for sure. That's right, even the Dark Continents. Would they? What is it, Yujiyo? Is the game plan bring Alice back to our tutorial village and she'd be like, Oh, my little sister, I remember everything. Oh. Kirito's memory back. Never mind. <laughs> if only Asuna could see this. This is a flag. I'll be with you on this journey till the end. Okay. I feel so sad. You're gonna leave me, Kirito. That's cool. Oh, never mind. My next calling is to be Alice's husband? I don't know. Lover of Kirito. I don't know. Alright. Alright, that was a pretty wholesome moment between Yuji and Kirito. My mentor. What the fuck? This dude was just waiting for us with the wine glass? Oh shit, okay. Alice's men uh, my mentor, so it's Alice's like uh, apprentice. Alice's page. Uh, Alice's page. Alice's page. Alice's page. 
Ikemen! Axiom Knight, Integrity Knight. Ooh. This guy is probably so strong. Yo, give us a sword to fight against first. We actually gonna fight with our fucking chains? Alice has our sword, this isn't fair. Oh, the soundtrack, man. What is it? Eldry Synthesis 31. And the only reason that I was going with Alice being like the 30th clone or some shit is because, you know, Synthesis 30, but he's 31. Did you notice that's 31? Alice is his mentor. You would think that a senior would have a higher number, and Alice does. I'm gonna assume the origin starts from like, oh, is it like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and blah, blah, blah. So she came after Alice. I thought that there was like 30 Alice clones or something, but everybody has like synthesis number. Okay, Eldry. I'm gonna also assume he's a dude that was able to. Well, I don't know. Did he. You know, defy the taboo index and become like this, or did he just, you know, enroll in Integrity Night way and just normally got here? Who knows? Oh, he's saying go easy on us. And that's today's episode of SAO. And yo, things are actually getting pretty high. I mean, it already was back in the academy stuff, but it was all a bunch of students and a bunch of dumb students. Now we're getting like actual Integrity Nights like fighting against us. Like it feels like we're going against the church itself, right? This is building up to be super hype. What is the most important things that happened today? Alice doesn't really seem to be the Alice that we know. Obviously, she, her memory either got washed. We're under the assumption that the people at the top of the, you know, the church people can just like have memory wiping powers. And maybe Kikoka and, you know, people here... Wrath is part of it. I'm not really sure. Asna runs across some other Wrath members and she looks at a dude's calves and is like, damn, that's thick. I'm not sure if that's supposed to mean that we've met that guy before, but that seems to be interesting. We go through a jailbreak. The guards are non-existent. Kirito and Yuju have the most wholesome bromance moments and a little bit of flags being tipped. But there is this guy. Alice this apprentice out of Bravro. he'll tell us his name knight eldry synthesis 31 these numbers denotes the number of different integrity that's been recruited in that order i'm not too sure but the plot is getting really good and the fight next episode we're gonna get fucking washed we only have chains to fight with how are we gonna do this i don't know we'll figure it out next time but if you're here still though and if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care